hi there this is Jacqueline with nickel and dime decor and hooray hooray roundabout quilt is finished so exciting to finish a quilt you just say praise the Lord it was so much fun to make I, I really like like to doing this uh, the binding is, uh, uh, I don't know, it's not a polka dot, but it's a teardrop kind of thing. But I put it on and I uh, sewed it to the uh, back, turned it to the front, and sewed it also on the machine. And I just did, uh, I sewed it with a regular stitch on the back. And when I turned it over, I did a zigzag. The zigzag doesn't show because it's with black thread on black binding. So, uh, I, I think that, that really, really works and sets it off. I really like my choice on the binding. And I have a, a picture for you. Uh, I called two of my neighbor ladies to come over and one was already in her pajamas and uh, one was taking a nap. But anyway, they came over and they held it up and they're both short, so it's not a real good picture, but uh, you'll see, see it. I could have put it on the bed, but it's so hard to tell, you know, get a good look on the bed. I know it. Yes, so they tried their best to hold it up for me, so. But um, you'll get a long, a long view of it anyway. I just want to thank you again. I hope you made it. I hope you did. And I, uh, I, I know you'll just, you'll love it. And remember to watch all of the videos and you can do it. All right, there's some more after this to kind of tell you a little bit about uh, some extra things that I learned, okay? Well, guys, I wanted to just mention a few things to you. Uh, you know, this decorative stitch, um, see if I can get the camera down there. It is gorgeous but I used uh, three spools of thread just to quilt this thing. And uh, see, it goes back and forth and back and forth. See, And it uses twice the amount of thread that you would ordinarily use. So I would never advise y'all to do a decorative stitch on your quilting. It is pretty, and I'm very, very, I'm very pleased with it, but um, my word took me so, so long. And uh, now on the binding, I used a zigzag stitch. That's all I did. That's all I did. And I think with the black thread, it looks really nice. Looks great. Looks great on the back. And so I I like I like it. Uh, the zigzag stitch. I th I think that just works just fine. I'm just so pleased that it's done and, and finished. You know, it's such a relief when something is finished. Such a relief. I so hope uh, my nephew, Justin, uh, puts it on his bed. And it's warm and comforting to him. And I hope it's a blessing to him. And I thank you so much. My goodness, I've had thousands and thousands and thousands of views on this roundabout quilt. And I'm so thankful. Um, 
it was just a lot of fun to do. And remember, you can go back to the very beginning where we start cutting. I think there's six or seven videos. So that's it for this roundabout quilt. Uh, oh, I didn't show you the back. Let me do that real fast. There's nothing to it, nothing fancy, but it's um, kind of a tannish whatever, and I don't know what you call that color. <laughs> and that, that, see that stitching looks really, really good on the back too. Okay, thank you so much, and God bless you.